we have a definite integral. And um, if this was just an x, uh, we could just use a formula, but it's an x over 2. So we could use a u substitution. We could let u be equal to x over 2. But then we have to change the limits of integration and, and all that stuff. So let's uh, take a shortcut. So if we have 81 to the x over 2, we can write 81 as 9 squared. So this is 9 squared to the x over 2. And properties of exponents say that you multiply. So this is 9 to the 2 times x over 2. The 2's cancel, so you simply get 9 to the x. So we can go ahead and rewrite our original problem uh, as follows. This is actually the definite integral from negative 2 to 2 of 9 to the x dx. Right, because 81 to the x over 2 can be written as 9 to the x. And now we can go ahead and integrate. So the formula for the integral of a to the x with respect to x is simply a to the x over the natural log of a plus a constant. Now this is a definite integral, so we don't have to include the, the constant. So this will be 9 to the x over the natural log of 9. And we're going from negative 2 to 2. Now we first plug in this number, so this is 9 squared over the natural log of 9 minus, and then you plug in this number, 9 to the negative 2 over the natural log of 9. 9 squared is 81, so we get 81 over the natural log of 9 minus, and we can write this as 1 over 81, right, over the natural log of 9. How did I do that? Uh, 9 to the negative 2 is 1 over 9 squared which is 1 over 81. And I guess the last thing we can do is make this look a little bit better. This is 81 over the natural log of 9 minus 1 over 81 times the natural log of 9, right? Just division there, right? 1 over 81 divided by the natural log of 9, old school notation. This is 1 over 81 times the reciprocal, right? When you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal and we get uh, the second term here. I hope that made sense.